Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 7th, 2021. Well, doggone it, we have some more pressure here in the market. But interestingly enough, in the last hour, the futures have surged sharply from overnight lows. We seem to be getting the same kind of price action over and over and over. In the pre-market, we pump up as hard as we can, and then right after the market opens, that's when the sellers come back into play. So be really careful just jumping in this morning um, watch that price action closely because there could be quite a little bit of volatility. If you were paying attention to the news last night, Brent crude surged over, well, just topped briefly $130 a barrel. And what that means for us is Obviously, um, tremendously high oil prices, gas prices are up 65% so far this year, and there are countries around the world now starting to worry about the potential of recession, stagflation, all of those nasty words are starting to pop up in the news feeds everywhere. Let's take a look at the charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today on this Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. A little bit of an ugly morning this morning. Let's take a look at these charts. Um, as you can see, we are still in a downtrend. And although we've been really trying hard to hold on to this price support in the chart, it may be a little bit tenuous this morning with these rising energy costs. At one point this morning, we were down um, 500 points, um, excuse me, overnight in the futures. And just in the, it's just been a normal pattern here. It's like the institutions just can't help themselves from trying to pump it up in the pre-market, trying to get folks to jump in, and then um, seeing those sellers come back in shortly after that. So watch that carefully. Now we've been chopping in this range here in the Dow, as you can see, and this is a very wide range chop. As a matter of fact, it's over a thousand points between the high and the low. That makes for a very, very challenging market and um, actually a very dangerous market for most traders out there, unless you are a very very experienced day trader and can handle that kind of wild volatility. So be really careful here. I think at this point in time with um, energy surging like this, I don't think we can rule out that possibility of a test of these February lows. Um, certainly don't want to see that, but the possibility does exist here. So watch that carefully. And keep in mind, we may just be chopping back and forth in here, sliding out toward that downtrend here in the diamonds. Now, if those bears get going and we do actually lose this price support right in here, there really isn't much of anything underneath that except that price level that we saw in February all the way down here. So watch that closely. If the bulls can engage and get going, then just keep in mind we have this tremendous resistance level above in the chart. And then if we take a look at our technicals, guys, um, certainly becoming pretty ugly here with that 50-day moving average, um, all but ready to cross down through the 200-day moving average and creating the death cross here on the Dow. So watch that closely. 34 EMA and 20 EMA continue to dive pretty hard here um, to place a lid on the um, the prices in the chart right around that resistance level. So pretty ugly overall. If we take a look at the SPY, doesn't get much better here in the SPY other than the fact that we have tried really, really hard to hold on to that price support level over the last week. We just bounced down in there and we kept pushing back up. But unfortunately this morning we're gapping below that level and you can see in the pre-market we're trying to pump it back up here really, really hard. Um, so you'll wanna watch that pretty closely. Now, if we can get those bulls going um, and continue to defend, we have this downtrend here 
that will challenge us and of course this substantial level of price resistance through here yet to challenge us for that upside move it's entirely possible we could bounce around in this little area right in here but we certainly can't rule out the possibility if those bears re-engage that we won't come back here and test that February low here in the chart so watch that closely again if those bulls get going watch that resistance and that downtrend um, that's where those bears will likely line up for a defense and our technicals here in the chart certainly diminishing um, boy last week that 50-day moving average declined really sharply um, in that chart and you can see 34 EMA crossing down through that 200 obviously we're have we're running into some major technical damage here in these charts and if we take a look at our QQQ well doggone it the the damage just really continues to get worse as you can see QQQ did fail this little price support on Friday here in the chart that puts us um, you know directly in the in line of sight of the february lows here in the chart um, if the bulls can get moving we've got this big old downtrend we're going to have to deal with and we have these price resistance levels in the chart to challenges above keep in mind we're trying to pump this up in the pre-market here so watch that closely um, we'll have to um, just stay kind of focused on this and remember one of the reasons we're seeing these prices um, uh, energy prices surge the way we are is um, the mere fact that the United States is now and maybe finally uh, considering a full embargo of Russian oil products and that's just going to continue to put massive pressure on um, energy prices and and um, really threatens the potential of recession here in the United States so watch that carefully as these developments continue to come around and then of course our technicals here in the QQQ pretty pretty dismal with the 50 having crossed down through the 234 EMA dropping pretty fast so we've got a lot of technical damage here to recover from and then the russell well it doesn't get a whole lot better um, in the russell as you can see we continue to challenge this downtrend we tried to push up through there on um I believe it was thursday tried to push up through there and as you can see um failed at that resistance level we've now created another substantial resistance level before we hit that year's worth of price resistance in the chart and then of course we cannot rule out at this point having broken down through here just a bit um, that possibility that we could retest the lows here in the Russell again technicals here in the chart pretty ugly with that 50-day moving average um, providing a substantial level of technical resistance now on that chart as well let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX has been pretty rough here um, we we shot up here on Friday we tried to pull, we pulled it back pretty substantially uh, by the end of the day with the buyers tr trying to rush in at the end of Friday but you can see right in here that we're continuing in this upside trend um, up here about 32 handles on the close of the day so that would tell us that we still have an awful lot of risk here and if you're an option trader the option prices are extremely high due to the implied volatility bid ask spreads are wide market makers themselves are protecting themselves due to the uncertainty in this market spreading that bid ask out so watch this carefully up here this resistance level in the chart this is um, we need to hold that because I think if we pop up through there um, if we get that volatility spiking up through there that really could trigger some substantial selling in the market so watch that closely we want want to see that hold if um, we start pulling back remember we still have this trend that we've got to deal with and we've got this 25 handle area which is a substantial level of price support all the way across the chart there to the left so watch that close and our um, t21 22 unfortunately t21 22 
doesn't really help us out a lot here. Notice that we're kind of in the mid-range here on T2122. And if we were to move back down um, in these prices, remember those overnight lows could um, easily be tested sometime during the day. And we certainly have that opening here to the downside. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot going on here today when it comes to earnings and economic calendar. So if those bears do grab a hold, we've got you know substantial room for that fall to the downside if the bulls happen to find reasons you know and I, I suspect it would be new cycle out of the ukraine that could give us a little bit of lift uh to the upside let's watch that closely here um we still we've opened up a pretty substantial move to the upside as well so t2122 doesn't tell us which way we're going to go today it just simply says we have that potential for big moves and um i think we should be prepared for those continued intraday whipsaws um, as the market gyrates around tries to figure out what all of this means um, um, as energy prices surge and what that will do to um, the economy here in the United States. Let's take a look at our T2122, uh, excuse me, T2107, uh, there we go, that's what I wanted to say, T2108. T2108, I gotta say, um, held up better than I would have expected um, here on Friday, so we did a pretty good job. We, we were looking pretty bearish early on in the day on Friday, but then that surge right at the end of the day picking things up dramatically so we still are in a downtrend here in the chart but it is trying to improve here 37% uh, of a stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and t2107 is also the same um, we have you know 31% of our stocks 32% of our stocks um, holding above the 200 day moving average. So we're trying to improve here just ever so slightly on those internals, but obviously significant price resistance levels above, downtrend still in play in T2107. And then if we take a look at our T2101, um, this has been a little bit perplexing, honestly. T2101 just hasn't been getting a whole lot of activity um, in this. And what I what I believe is as we push down, back down into this lower region here, we're kind of setting ourselves up for a pretty big move in the market. So watch that closely. Um, volatility continues here, just tremendous volatility. Even in the overnight, we were down 450 points when I started writing the morning blog this morning. We're now less than 200 points down, so a 200 point swing in that overnight and um, are in the pre-market so here we go again with that wild volatility in those institutions trying to pump us up in the pre-market um, be really careful be really careful let's take a look at our economic calendar today our economic calendar certainly has um, some things to worry about as we move throughout the week, but today we're really, really light. Notice here we have some bond auctions going off a three and a six investor movement index and consumer credit coming out. None of those would be expected to be market moving. But keep in mind, um, as we move through the week, we've got international trading goods. This is gonna be an interesting one um, as that uh, trade deficit continues to expand here for us in the United States. We've largely ignored that, but it's really starting to become a critical problem, I think, for our economy. Then we've got the job openings report, petroleum status on Wednesday, and probably the bigger one that everyone's going to be thinking about is the Thursday CPI reading on inflation. That could be interesting with the rising oil prices. Commodity prices as a whole just continue to surge. There is major concerns of food shortage uh, problems this year due to those uh, costs um, out there, farmers having um, double, triple, quadruple um, input costs. Um, creating some real pressure on that food area um, of the economy. And then jobless claims. So it's just going to be one of those interesting weeks here in the market with a lot of um, uncertainty. And probably most of that is going to come in there on Thursday. So watch that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now today we have a lighter earnings calendar 
um, overall. But we do have a few notables in here to pay attention to. As a matter of fact, there's only about 70 companies total out there reporting today. So let's cover these really quickly. C-I-E-N, um, we'll catch a report here on C-I-E-N. It looks like that's headed just a little bit lower. We've got some price support in that chart, as you can see right down here. So keep a close eye on C-I-E-N. CLAR also reporting today. Not exactly a huge notable, but it is important to pay attention to. Um, we've got EGRX that will be, whoops, EGRX that will be on the list today, and it's gapping lower here this morning, apparently on its report. Not looking so good there. Um, IPI also reporting today. This thing has been on a major run and you can see surging here this morning as well. And this is what I was talking about. All of those agricultural inputs um, just surging to the upside as these, um, these products continue being affected by oil prices going higher and higher, creating more and more pressure on the food industry. So keep an eye on that. Um, um, Rover, Um, we'll be reporting today. We'll hear from SQSP this morning. Um, obviously not looking so good there on Squarespace. Uh, gapping down substantially here this morning. Apparently um, disappointed on its report. Um, we've got TDUP um, on the list today. And VET is what I've kind of put in here for notables and here again um, oil and gas energy anything commodity wise um, surging in prices um, today so putting more and more pressure inflationary pressure on the markets let's take a, a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you can do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos well please click that thumbs up button click that um, um, subscribe button and make sure that if you feel that these videos are worthy if you could please leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that I truly truly appreciate it hey I want to let everyone know that beginning um, next week there will probably not be any uh, morning market prep videos for the week um, I am my, my wife and I will be taking a vacation and truly trying to take a vacation where I will not be jumping in um, trying to do videos every day and and um, keep up on um, market conditions so I do apologize that I'll be gone I apologize for that inconvenience but um, it's been years and years since I've taken that many days off so we're gonna try and take a full five days off she may have to tie my hands down to keep me away from um, checking market conditions <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact um, you're gonna have to do your own due diligence here in these charts and be very very careful because we're likely going to see more volatility today let's take a look we've got some defensive sector type stocks um, and again you know um, kind of a commodity type um, stock here as you can see um, we've been looking pretty good here in Philip Morris and I have a little bit of bias on this guy so keep that in mind I am long this for a long term uh, position using a weekly chart and that's looking really good for us here at the moment right way options uh, members are benefiting from a pretty nice upside move here albeit rather slow with the volatility of the market so keep an eye on um, Altria you might want to keep an eye Eye on um, Philip Morris as well now Philip Morris is going in the other direction notice that we have failed through price support here and this is set up short for a downside move so keep a close eye on that bit of a head and shoulders pattern starting to show up here on Philip Morris you might want to take a look at anything in the um, gold and silver arena today GLD is another one of those commodities that has been surging here recently. Little pop and drop on the day so far in GLD, but you'll wanna watch that closely. Um, anything in the gold mining area, um, Newmont um, has been surging to the upside. Berry Gold, um, you can look at GDX. Um, 
GDX. Um, um, all of these stocks um, in that mining and metals area surging. If you take a look at um, um, anything in energy, um, energy has just been unbelievably strong. Energy, natural gas, um, oil, um, anything that relates to um, that energy sector has been extremely strong. And we're even seeing that effect um, some of the solar stocks starting to push up because our energy prices continuing to soar and moving to the upside you can see some of these solar stocks starting to come around and break down trends and trying to move up through some price levels here in the chart so watch that closely with first solar moving up uh, pretty darn strong and you could take a look there's quite a few in that area um, tan ETF um, putting in a higher low here. This is what we call a tried and true pattern. Breaking that downtrend, rallying up, pushing back, trying to hold some support in here. And you can see a little bit of bullishness trying to come in here this morning. So keep a close eye on that. You might also um, take a look at anything in ag. Um, anything in that agricultural area has been extremely strong. Take a look at the MU um, ETF. Um, that's looking really, really strong, pressing to the upside, just just ripping as food prices continue to rise. Anything in the fertilizer area, um, take a look at Mosaic, continues to surge to the upside. Now be careful chasing some of these. They're just really stretched out here, but um, I would keep a pretty close eye on any of those. Um, CF would be another. You might also keep an eye on steel. Steel has been really strong. U.S. Steel, um, Steel Dynamics, um, MT hasn't been one of the performers at all. They must be suffering some uh, management problems here in this company. But MT, um, uh, you know, not very, not looking so good here, but um, you can see trying to pop back up here this morning. So lots going, a lot of movement going on in there. And even Alcoa has been extremely strong in that metal sector as everything is affected by energy prices and these commodities, all the metals, all food prices, all of those things are moving substantially higher. So watch those closely. With all of that going on, guys, we also have those things that probably are going to suffer a lot. If you're looking for some short trades, take a look at our um, uh, airlines here and travel related. Um, United Airlines moving down. How about Expedia um, pushing back pretty hard. Um, may find some support in here, but I suspect these will continue to suffer um, as these prices continue to go up. So keep an eye on those. You could also look at the cruise lines that we're really looking for some upside here in the market and all these energy prices and the impacts that that's having on consumers probably making travel a little bit difficult here. So watch that carefully. So with that guys, hey, if you're looking for those short trades, there's a lot of them out there as you can see. Um, there's a lot of places that you can look for those potential um, short trades. So be really, really careful. Remember, as long as our indexes continue into decline, you should be thinking predominantly short positions or a mix of trades between long and short. Because trying to fight the, a downtrend is very, very challenging and can just cause you an awful lot of pain and suffering in your accounts. Being predominantly short in the right way options group, we have enjoyed a tremendous year so far in profits. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, move with the direction of the market. Don't try to fight against it. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all the best. I want to wish you a um, a profitable day. Please continue to think about those folks over there in the Ukraine. A lot of suffering going on over there as Russia continues to create all of this hate and discontent content around the world. So with that, everyone, take care and we'll see you bright and early Tuesday morning.